Well, this is a story that we have been following for quite some time. A man who was wrongfully convicted for murder and spent 27 years behind bars is tonight a free man. Good evening. Once again, I'm Scott Levin and I'm Mary Alice Demler. Valentino Dixon went before a judge to be exonerated today and another man who confessed to the crime pleaded guilty to the 1991 killing. Channel 2's Claudine Ewing has been following the story and was on hand for its conclusion. Valentino Dixon can now smile. He's a free man. It's unbelievable. He was serving 39 years to life. He spent 27 years in prison at Attica and Wendy, all the while saying he did not murder Toriano Jackson. Today, a judge exonerated him of murder, but the gun charge sticks. And this man, Lamar Scott, who confessed 10 times, including twice to Channel 2, that he was the killer, was charged with manslaughter and assault, and now the Dixon family can breathe. What is the first thing you want to say to him when you see him? <laughs> Daddy, it's time that we start living life together out in the real world. <laughs> she wants to get her dad a cell phone. Valentino stood before a judge, and because audio was not allowed, we can only show you the crowd applauding as he was exonerated of murder. I don't have no words. But outside, as he left the courthouse, no longer wearing prison-issued clothes, the cheers were loud, and he had a message. Prison rhetoric with the mass incarceration needs to stop and we need to come up with a solution on how to, you know, render justice for those that's poor. Because if you don't have any money in this system, it's hard to get justice because the system is not equipped to design to give a poor person a fair trial. We got to talk with him briefly after court. I always felt this day would come, but I didn't know when, okay? Because God always sent me the signs, you know? Every time I was in the funk or I felt like, you know, I can't do any, go any longer. You know, God always sent somebody to help. Coming out right. and seeing your mother. That's the best feeling in the world. You know, I just look forward to doing a lot of things that don't necessarily cost money, but just spending time with them. You know, uh, I like to cook, so I'm gonna do a lot of cooking, you know, and just spend quality time. Life now as a free man will include a fight to change the criminal justice system. My solution for prison reform is to reduce the sentencing laws. Okay, the sentencing laws are outrageous, especially in New York State. You're giving people double time. And he's an artist. His colored pencil drawings of golf courses have been featured in golf magazines. Life now will be art and family. Valentino Dixon plans to spend time this evening with his family at Red Lobster. That was his choice. A lot of credit also goes to Georgetown University students who use this case for a prison reform project. They help reveal that the results were negative on Dixon's hands for gun residue. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News. Local defense attorney Paul Cambria joins us in studio. Paul, uh, the defendant spent almost three decades behind bars for a crime he did not commit. And it appears that the prosecutors had some information that they withheld. That is not good news. That's terrible news. I mean, that's, that cuts at the heart of the criminal justice system when the prosecutors are not ethical. If they intentionally withheld this information, which they'd have to because it's prominent, then that's an unethical act and it really destroys the fabric of criminal justice. Obviously he can never get that time back, but he, in our system of justice, it's paid by money. I'm sure there will be some type of a suit. There'll be no doubt about that. We've seen that in the past with others who were wrongfully convicted and I'm sure he'll make a claim and be compensated. And what about, will it be even larger than normal because some of that evidence may have been withheld? Well, I think that the fact that it was withheld uh, and not only that, we had somebody who confessed to the murder. Correct. Who's recently pled guilty to the murder. I think all those things will make a, a substantial recovery, a likelihood for him. And, and before I let you go, how rare is this? We do see pockets of it around the country. I mean, somebody always says that they're innocent, but a lot of people who are guilty say they're innocent also. But how rare is this that you, you find someone who says, I actually did this, and the other gentleman is, is let out? Well, of if you think about it, thousands of people go to trial every year, no doubt about it. And we only hear a handful of these cases where, because of DNA or something like this, where they've discovered withholding evidence, it finally, the truth comes out. So they're very rare. Local defense attorney Paul Cambria, always great to have you in studio, Paul. My pleasure. Thanks for joining us.